Hey everyone, I'm here watering my garden at the community garden. I just wanted to take a moment to talk to you guys about the meaning of today. Today is one of those days that we will remember where we were when the Supreme Court decided that they knew what a woman should do with her body more than that woman did. You know, I hear a lot of times people speak in favor of adoption and say that, you know, those Democrats, they just hate adoption and that we're against adoption. And you know what? That's just not true. My mom was adopted. So it is a fact that I may never be here if my grandmother biologically didn't choose adoption over abortion okay so i get that but you know what you know whose choice that was that was my grandmother's choice to make it wasn't her doctor's choice to make it wasn't some politician's choice to make it wasn't her husband's choice or her father or some man that thinks that they know better about what is best for that woman than her herself. And I just think about all the young girls who are trying to understand what this means, who are trying to understand why someone else has the right to govern their body. For all the young women that have been raped and are now going to be forced to carry a baby to term that was created out of hate and anger and one of the worst things that happens in society you know my neighbor when i was growing up was worked for an OBGYN or uh yeah, I think she worked for an OBGYN. And she came home one day and told us about the nine-year-old girl. She was nine. And they delivered her baby from her uncle. Nine years old. Why would anyone sign a law that forces a nine-year-old to deliver a baby from her uncle that was created out of incest why I, I don't understand I don't understand how women who can have problems with their pregnancy who can have an eptoc, et, et, you know what I'm talking about ectopic pregnancy where the, the fetus is growing outside of the uterus and is not a viable fetus. Why is that fetus's life more important than the woman who is carrying it? You know, we give these old white men too much power. The good old boys are not out to look after you or your family. They're not here to help. And this is a very sad day for America. If you are so naive and you're not paying attention to think that they're not coming for voting rights next, I don't know where, where you're at. I don't know what you've been doing. I don't know what you're watching. If you don't think that they're coming for your gay friends and family and that they're not going to make marriage illegal then you're naive and you're not paying attention if you think that they're not going to come after African Americans for the rights that they have that are granted to them just like any other person in this country then you are poorly mistaken this is just the beginning those Supreme Court justices lied to the American people 
they continue to lie to the American people when they said that it was settled law. You know, I saw a picture with them that was drawn with their hands behind their backs, with their fingers crossed. And you know what? That's exactly what happened. They lied to get on the court. And this is what happens. This is the choices that are made when you allow politicians who have hate in their heart to control your life. Now, these are the same people who wouldn't put on a fucking mask because of a global plant global pandemic that was killing millions worldwide they wouldn't put on a fucking mask for their neighbor but now they're going to tell your daughter what she can do with her body if you're not outraged i feel sorry for you you need to vote in november like your rights depend on it because they do you need to bring 10 people with you to vote in November. Because if you think that the other side is not going to do anything and everything they can to make this nation an evangelical nation that only cares about cis white men, then you are ignorant and either you're choosing to be or you're just drinking the Kool-Aid. I really don't have any words right now to describe how truly shocking it is that the crowd that was screaming and protesting about a fabric cloth over their mouth for the safety of others is now trying to force themselves onto your women in your life. Wake up, America. They're coming for you next.